Hello guys, what's in here again? It's quite some time that we haven't seen each other for the Wim Techniques video series and today is the element video now and uh, today's topic I want to show you is about uh, Wim reading the file content from the standard input It's not much about uh, working right inside Wim itself but this one is a technique that works at the command line level so Imagine that you probably normally gonna work with other comma light tools with Vim as well, right? So this one gonna slightly more streamline your productivity. Okay, let I have some example to query show you what it's gonna look like. So let's jump right into it. So let's say I am at the current Git project, my personal Git project here, and I wanna modify something. Okay, so I'm gonna add some line here. Add some uh, several line here and save it, and you're gonna spawn a new terminal window. So, um, for this terminal window, I already covered in the past of the video, so you can check it out if you're interested on the link that show now. Okay, so if you execute it, get dip, it's gonna show you that okay, some changes has been added to the, the git now. The workspace is dirty now, so some line added to it. Um, yeah, normally if you have a large chain that span across the page, maybe some some more page that you can uh, turn it on page by page, right? You're gonna use less or more, this depends on less or more, it depends on the, which tune you comfortable with. Let's say, let's say we use less for, for now. Um, yeah, it, it's gonna show something like this and you can keep pressing F in order to switch to the next page, something like that, right? But mm, something lag behind because I want to use the movement key in order to move because I know the chains they're gonna, it can move to the specific location with a certain keyword line. So yeah, with less or more, you probably just need to do like a, you need to search for something maybe yeah, it's go it, but but it's some something else you want and to do something like that. Maybe you want to check the spelling right inside Vim. You want to do some some more of the command line executed that you hooked up with the Vim or something like that, right? So we can do it this way, uh, Vim. And this one is just we want to will the content only, not to modify anything, right? So it's is we're gonna start the content in the read only mode so this is a technique um with hyphen here as you can see here hyphen here is signifying vim that we are going to read the file content from the standard input so git diff going to output the file content and pipe it into the standard input that vim is going to read in so we're gonna vim Start this file content in read on remote. That is the hyphen R here. Okay, so enter. I'm gonna expand the window here. And as you can see, this is in read only mode. And we also be able to detect it right away that this is the diff file. Yeah. And as you can see, there are several lines that add into this, and, and you can navigate with the Wim movement right away. Right, so far so good. So let's um, increase a little bit of complexity here to really show you the benefit of using Vim um, to read the content here. So let's say I'm gonna change this line into uh, add more space into it. I'm gonna save the things and with the diff, it's gonna show you that. Okay. This line has something fishy about it. Um, is is I believe it's probably also depend on your color scheme setting on your shell. Um, I, I'm not sure that normally by default Git should uh, output as a red color or not, but this is the additional of things. Maybe it should uh into a different color. But anyway. Anyway, so we, we want to know what, what kind of things are fully additional here 
and we want to use we movement as well so no need to worry about this we we can do the same so so whim r and hyphen right actually there's uh, another binaries that is the same effect of x uh, starting the whim with the files content reading from the standard input without you to specify hyphen r so it is called whim will yeah so it's gonna be the same and expand it here. yeah and we're gonna turn on list mode you can check it out because in the previous video i already covered about this technique um, so i believe you should check it out in the link and show below show in your video now so and you can see here that this this line might not be it intentional because the, there's some extra space add into the line so you clearly fully see the things that 100% sure of what happening here so far so good okay that's it i'm gonna undo all the things save the files and then exit right and we are back at a clean state so for the second example i want to show you is that let's say i want to complete all the remaining to-do list that i have in the current project so i pretty sure i'm pretty sure that i use this pattern to do to mark the things that i need to get done in the source code so let's execute it and it's going to show a multiple of lines across multiple of files that this is the thing that I need to get done. So let's say I want to get the things done and I'm gonna check it one by one as a files that I completed. Yeah, what we have do, uh, done is probably suitable for this. So I'm gonna um, output the, the file content into Vim itself. But now it's not read only mode anymore. So I cannot just do view like this now I will do this in C no more R or read only mode so right and also don't don't get freaked out that my to do is color and highlight in green you can customize this maybe I can cover this in the future of video so you can have something like a, um, what should I say another pattern and color into another things in a future video okay so yeah this is to do so you can keep this window open and maybe you use tmarks or anything like that um, and you can spawn to another window and you get the things done and then get back to this to do the list of that that you need to check it out so you can okay I complete this one I'm gonna add I'm gonna add this and then I can save it somewhere maybe into Attempt something like this so I can I can save the file and this is not lit only so I can I can do the modify this buffer as well so yeah that's pretty much it and actually if you start in read only mode you can also uh, set the no read uh, no, no read only mode as well so but, but anyway we can have this kind of full intention from the start at the command line and that's it for the second example so let's let's see for the third example like um, okay let's say you wanna list it out the current package that you have installed in your system so we're gonna use dpkg and list it's gonna list you all the way of the things and you can see here on the right side, this is a signifier that actually this is the line is not wrapped. I'm not sure about the command line or option flag that's gonna let this to not going to no to some some flag that gonna do the right line wrap for this output because I didn't see the full option here. Because yeah. I scale, I scale the font up so you guys can see the clear. So, what what can we do here? So we can use Vim. We can use Vim. 
so I'm gonna use will here so let's say I'm gonna use fully option here so let's see and now you can see query and manipulate user information so yeah the, the line wrap is by default it's enabled for me so let's say if I no line wrap it's gonna be uh, similar to what you see right okay so wrap and you can save this file to somewhere else as well depends on what, what you're gonna do with it and yeah so information is saved you can do you can modify you can save to elsewhere you can manipulate it it's quite flexible quit it now another one the last one is that uh, let's say you're gonna output all of the process running process here and then I'm gonna do the same output into the wheel and see here and you can you can try to search with Vim now uh, let's say uh, I run OBS right okay I see OBS I can try to search it it is much more flexible that you can use Vim movement compared to if you use less or more in order to like a page by page yeah you can do much more with this you can modify the things okay you can try to see the root and you can try to uh, you, can, you can try to to see what what you want to see here something along that line and that's all for today technique that uh, use Vim to read the file content from this done input so yeah I hope this is gonna streamline your productivity for okay thank you so much